Hey guys, so in today's project, as promised, we're gonna transfer some music over light. We're gonna use this thing. God. This jig here, I'm gonna put it together somehow like that. I'll show this more up close. And with the help of this IR receiver, you can see it focus. Understand why. There we go. There. Um, with the help of the arrow receiver that I just showed, we're gonna receive some music. So in order to amplify the signal, this is what I'm using. Um, this is a LM thirty six. Basically, what this is made for is to put it together with a speaker and it's whatever signal comes in through here I have it set up like that it's in the input it gets amplified and it has enough power to drive a speaker so yep and this is the volume control and that's pretty much it and this is the little IR receiver and this is what we have so far right now we have it connected to uh, this is where the speaker goes connected to the connector. And I have here this this cap for some filtering, and it should work. So here we have the LM three eighty six B in is right there. That's where the audio goes in, and then that ten K is the resistor knob that we have. Uh, as you can see, the volume is just a variation of the voltage in the potentiometer. And then you have your 10 microfarads uh, on, the, on the top there. And you have your little filtering, which is a 250 microfarads. Now, when you have a capacitor like that, that basically filters out any DC or direct current and just lets uh, an AC. So that's what music is, as an AC wave. And that's how it comes out through the speaker. So, um, this is kind of how everything starts out. Um, here we have the circuit. So if I can get a close up of it. We have a PJT. There, I have the iPod thingy. I had to kind of make a weird connection here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. So we have this guy. I'm gonna post the circuit here. So basically the signal comes in through here. So I just voice over what I'm drawing here. Uh, here we're drawing the 10K, which goes to the base of the BJT. And that's the emitter going to ground and the collector. And there you can see the IR being connected directly to the collector. And it's gonna be pulled up to uh, three volts not 3.3, uh, two of those coin cells, uh, each are three volts. And uh, that's basically where the audio comes out. That's the IR. And uh, okay. <clears throat> so basically the music comes out of there and you filter it out with the capacitor like that in series with the bass. And those are just the leads, uh, negative lead and audio input so that's basically super simple signal comes in through here gets filtered out and it goes into the into the base of the of the bjt and that's pretty much it and then it gets pulled up by us by this guy here super simple uh amplifier and that's it and then these are the LED wires that we soldered earlier. These are some IR LEDs or IRD. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So yeah, it's not LEDs. It's IRDs, I guess, because they are infrared. So yeah. All right. So let's put this bad boy together and make it look cute. So I found a perf board and um, so we have it here. Solder it. And this is what we have so far. The BJT and the two filtering caps. And uh, just a little, little info about the BJT and the packaging. Um, this BJT has the emitter, the base, and the collector. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about that, just leave a comment in the description and and uh, and yeah, or leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> Alrighty, All right, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks after. Okay, so here it is. Um, this is basically the final product. This is how it looks. So I had to uh, zip tie the battery. And, <clears throat> and then I put glue there. And you basically have the music comes in through here. This is to adjust the, the volume. And you basically just make sure that it's facing this way. And and you're good to go. And I have a, a little on and off switch right here, which I did it with a jumper. So if you can see that right there. So this guy can come off. You just jump, it to, jump those two together. You short that out and uh, should be good to go. Right. Um, what else? All right. So this is the cool part. This thing looks. <laughs> this thing looks awesome. Look at this thing. Look at that. How cool is that? Some tri IR D there going on. Right. <clears throat> uh, once again, the zip tie action. Love it. Right, okay, and I had to sandwich the battery. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty cool. I love this stuff, and also the same type of uh, of on and off. So if I want to turn it on, you just basically jumper that those two right there, and that's on right now. Right. So. Oh, and I switched out. So remember, before it used to be that weird USB adapter that I made. I didn't want to use that because that's where I used to charge this. So now I bought this on, on Amazon. And if you can see, it has it has the, the left, right, and ground, right? So these two belong to one of these two on top. And then the, the ground belongs to this guy. So if you want to do stereo, you can. You just have to adapt it here as part of the circuit. And you will have to, that third wire gets soldered into uh, these two. But right now I'm just using those two together to, to bring in the signal. Alright, so right now I have it paused, right? And I have it set at a certain distance. And uh, thank God that I'm not monetized because this part... Unless I actually I should have played whatever I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna download a you know a non copyrighted song or whatever so let's play some famous tunes right that a lot of a lot of you may know okay so we're gonna play check this out so if I press it that's that's it playing right there and if I move it closer. louder but the louder you make it 
the more noisier it gets because there's too much of a signal, so it overpowers this guy. So, you see? Let's check this out. You get on top of it. <laughs> Cool, huh? And just so you guys don't think that I'm like somehow, I don't know, putting this in the video or whatever. Not fake. Alright, let's uh, I'm gonna go back. Hopefully, you can still hear. Listen to the song. Change it there. I don't know what song is gonna come up. Okay, yeah, my brother. That's a that's a metal song. <laughs> so since it's really loud, if I lower it, see how it clears up. Pretty cool, huh? Now check this out. Um, that's actually a Christian band. Right, let's play another song. I actually have no idea what's playing. My brother. Alrighty, hope you guys like it. Let's have fun with this guy by itself and see what else emits IR. And cut. Alright, so check this out. We're gonna put this really close to the light. You can kind of hear it humming. You're humming? That is IR right there. That's IR being emitted. Kind of crazy, huh? Let's see, uh, what else? I like this angle. <laughs> Where's my remote control? Okay, here we go. All right, check this out. You're gonna get your remote control. Check that out. Uh, let's actually do the volume so it doesn't turn on my TV. Look at that. You can hear that, huh? So this, it's basically what's here. Where are you? Right there, that guy. And that's why this works.